All right, folks, let's get ready to do our sky. We are going to do a mountain painting today, and I'm going to start with some pink. It's kind of stiff. I have this left over from uh, maybe two days ago. It's still good enough to use, but pink is a little stiff. Plus, I'm in my basement. It's kind of cool. <laughs> so the paint, is, paint itself is a little stiff. But I'm going to place this in with a one-inch brush. Take a two-inch brush and mix it all up and we get it the way we want it. This is a wet on wet painting, which means I have liquid white over the entire canvas. And liquid white and liquid clear is what you put on your canvas to make your paints blend real nice. And that's what it is. This is considered what they call wet on wet painting. Let's take a little phthalo blue now. I start most of my mountains like this. I mean, this is a pretty common sky for me because I like it. I think it looks good. This is phthalo blue. We're going to run it down the edge. Stick some out there in the pink. Yeah, I think a pink sky behind mountains look pretty good because it kind of gets it gets blue mixed in with it too. It don't just stay that color. Let's take some Prussian blue. Let's darken this up. Look how dark that is. It's particularly in the corners and across the top. You want your you always want your corners and across the top pretty dark. Let's see how that looks there. Okay, let me get me a two inch brush and we're going to mix that up and let's see what happens. Get you a clean one, make sure it's clean. This has a little blue, let me try a different one. These brushes get a little stiff on you. We'll start in the middle, we're going to work out. Do not start in the blue and work toward the center. We're going to use crisscross strokes. And we're going to stay out of this real dark blue for as long as we possibly can. I got my paper towels in front of me. We can wipe our brush off as we're going along. And just keep it going. See the blue is mixing with the pink and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Actually makes it look better. Just keep right on working your way up. Wiping your brush off on occasion. Wiping your brush. This is what I'm picking up. You pick up quite a bit of stuff. And just soften it up. All right, let's get started on our mountains. I have black, Prussian blue, and brown. Took some out of that, put it there, added some white to make it lighter. This is my topping, burnt umber and white. Two different piles, one for a distant mountain, which is lighter, one for a closer mountain. Just in case we want a distant mountain, I think I do. So let's start right in here. Uh, let's see here. Let's bring, let's do a little bit more. These are all the same height and we do not want that. Let's get a little bit more here. Okay, let me get me a brush and pull this paint out. I think that's okay right there. 
All right, I'm gonna get a clean brush. A lot of times I use the same dirty brush that I, I used in the sky, but that doesn't seem to work out very well sometimes. <laughs> so we're gonna do it this way. Just pull it down, feather it out. I'm gonna pull it all the way down because I don't know exactly how far I need it. And just feather it out. All right, let's do our next mountain. This is going to be our close up mountain. We're going to use this dark collar right here. This is our dark collar. Oh, let's see here. Let's start right in here. Let's get a little bit more. I'll throw some down in here to get this dark, cover up this pink, and then I'm going to scrape it all, all away, but I want to get some darkness down in here. Okay, let's pull that out and see what happens. Like I'm using the same brush. Feather it along the bottom just like we did the other one. Pull this painting out a little bit. It fell back on me. I got to keep it on the edge of my easel to get toward the bottom of these areas. I'll just paint it all in down here. Why not? Wipe my brush off a little bit. I think I want one more peak. Right here. Pull that paint out. I'll just cover all this up. Don't make no difference, does it? It's got to have something on it. Let's get ready to put put our toppings on, which is what I call what I call this toppings that goes on top. I'm going to use this lighter collar for this back mount right here. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get to putting some of this on right here. We want the, the light to be coming down from the right. And I am barely touching it. As I always say, it's not necessarily the paint that you use, it's the pressure. And I have, there is no pressure on this knife. There is no pressure at all. That's the truth, man. I mean, I'm barely touching this. Barely touching it. Let's 
See, I like this variety of collars. You see the brown and different collars in there. I like that. All right, let's do our front mountain. We are going to use this darker collar, and I'm not sure I made enough. I'm pretty sure by looking I did not, but that's, it's not a big a deal. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do this in back here. I like going along the edges first because you kind of got to be a little steadier. I want this mountain in front of them in case you're wondering what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, let's go ahead and just put some right here. I'll run a little bit across this top right here. have to move my paper towels. Let's see what this is looking like here. I need to fill that in. Okay, let's put some on this front area here. my knife off. The problem with this easel is I keep hitting, there's a bar right here and I have to actually literally hold my painting out by hand sometimes while I'm with my left hand while I'm painting with my right. I know that sounds ridiculous but to get to the bottom of this painting because of the way this easel's made. I love my easel but it's got a strange little, I don't know, build to it or something. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. Let's go ahead and do some, um, let's do some shadow. Cleaning my knife. I think I'm going to use this collar here. This is the very collar I use. Let's do a test. See, that doesn't look bad. That's the actual collar I used. For this mountain back here. Yeah, I don't think it looks too bad. You could maybe use a touch of white, but it's not bad. I think it's good enough to use for sure, or I wouldn't be using it. Okay, let me get my little knife here. I got a big knife and a small knife. This is my small knife. This is for these little areas like right here. Okay, that's probably pretty good. Let's see what this looks like here. Okay, get my other knife. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to what I was just doing. Let's see. Let me see what happens here. I think I do need to lighten this just a little. And you just got to keep messing with it till you get the way you want it. Not quite that light. Okay, that's better. So now, I'm just mixing this pile of stuff up that I made. Let's see what this looks like. Could be a touch darker. So let me add some of this mountain collar. Darken it just a touch. Just mix it till you get, till you get it the way you want it. I mean, that really, that's it. 
Let's try it. Let's try this collar. This ain't too bad. Not too bad. Just keep messing around with it. Okay, we're back. I'm just going to keep messing around here. Okay, let me think of something here. I think I might need to bring this over a little bit more. Let's put the, some of this down here. Okay, let me darken this up. Make it even better. One. Yeah, that, that darkened it up. It's darker because it's closer toward to you. closer something is, the darker in color, right? And this one over here is darker also. I'm just using this mountain collar that we originally put on this mountain, this, which is black, Prussian blue, and brown. That's really what I'm using right here. Darken this too. This mountain's in front of the other ones. It's closer. Okay, let me get me a brush. Uh, let's get a clean brush. Let me soften a little bit of this. I want to soften this up in here. Okay, let's see here a minute. Let's do this. Soften some of this. I'll probably have to, I'll have to go over a lot of this again, but that's okay. That's just how it goes. Let's see this one right here. Wipe my brush off if I can. Okay. Now let's see here. Let me hit this again. Hit this again. afraid this painting is going to fall. It's not sitting here very well. All right, paper towels. Wipe your knife off real good. All right, let me take some of this topping and let me go over a little bit of this right here. You don't want these lines straight at all. So we're just going to, I 
and we'll come over here and put some excess topping on it. Okay. Let's look around. Let's do this one right here. A little more. knife off a little bit just keep chugging along and just look around for areas that you don't like and just try to fix them Whatever you don't like, fix it. Okay, I'm going to bring this on down. I, I did this off camera. I'm just going to bring this mountain on down right there. I think that would be the best. I'm going to soften this up. And I would like to soften this up right in here. Soften some of this up. I really wished I could put my paper towels in front of me, but I cannot right now. <laughs> Not working on the bottom. That really stinks too. Makes it a little harder. It's okay. Challenges are good. Let's soften this a little. Let me look. Okay, that's all right. Okay, let's look. I'm just looking and I'm thinking. Looking and thinking. This is all mountains today, isn't it? I haven't done one like this, so we like different things. This is different. And let's see here a minute. Set my brush down. Wipe my knife off. We still got to put our white snow caps on this. Let me look. Okay, that don't look too bad. All right, I think I can set this up here now, and I'll rearrange my ca my camera. All right, now. Let's take some pure white and I'm going to stick it up here in a spot so it don't get contaminated. I'm going to put a touch of pink in this because the sky is pink. Don't hurt anything does it. Actually it matches. Let's just put a skim. Let's just skim some snow caps on this. Let me put my towels in front of me here because you got to wipe your knife off see I think that looks a lot better just just something as simple as this in my opinion it makes things look a lot better <coughs> that snow cap effect it's 
just by skimming it. Pink and white. Pink and white. Let's take a look. You don't want to overdo. It's awful easy to overdo things. I do it all the time. <laughs> Just put a little bit here and there. You have to stand back and take a look at it, which is what I'm doing. Well, folks, that looks like a wrap. I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. Guys, if you like mountain paintings, I have an entire list of mountain paintings. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. Thanks for watching.